Are you making a 2D game and are on the lookout for a no-code game engine? Look no further, you should check out Construct 3. If you remember our tutorial series on Super Teal Robot, you'll know we're fans of the engine. We like Construct 3 because of its ease of use and accessibility. First off, it's web-based. That means you can use it on almost any device, PC, Mac, Linux, tablets, and you can even do some light editing on your phone. If you want to check it out right now, it's as easy as heading over to editor.construct.net. It runs right in your browser. We also like its built-in behaviors. Their behavior library contains everything you'll need to make a traditional 2D game right out of the box. Easily make point-and-click games, platformers, top-down shooters, and more. And lastly, we love how easy it is to test, export, and deploy your games. Test on the go at any point via your browser. When you're ready, exporting is as simple as a few clicks. From there, it's as easy as uploading your files to a platform like Itch to share your game with the world. In this video, we'll look at games using Construct and also some upcoming games that we're excited about. We are Ask Game Dev, and these are seven amazing titles made with Construct. Welcome back. We make videos on how to elevate your game development and inspire others. If after watching this video you want to continue the game dev conversation, check out the video description for a link to our Discord server. We're now making fresh Ask Game Dev content on all of the major social networks, so be sure to check us out there too. First up is Guinea Pig Parkour by solo dev Jeff Mum. Guinea Pig Parkour is a comedy parkour platformer adventure just oozing with charm. Inspired by cartoons of the 90s and games like Earthworm Jim and Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, the game takes you through a radical cartoon world via a lovable guinea pig. You play as Joe, an average guinea pig who, after drinking some coffee, transforms into a neon tracksuit-wearing, parkour-performing guinea pig extraordinaire. We haven't seen such a charming and fluid hand-drawn title since Cuphead. It's amazing that a single dev tackled not only making the game, but also the expertly executed hand-drawn look. Each animation was made from scratch and animated at 24 frames per second. What we love most about the game's development is that Jeff shares a lot of it on YouTube. Check out the Guinea Pig Parkour channel on YouTube to watch some live game dev, live animation, and more. His channel is an amazing resource for anyone looking for some live Construct 3 development. Guinea Pig Parkour launches in 2021. You can wishlist the game now on Steam. Next up on the list is Small Saga by another solo developer, Jeremy Nagani. Small Saga is an isometric turn-based RPG from a mouse-eye perspective. If you're a fan of Redwall, The Secret of Nim, Ghost of a Tale, or any miniature scale adventure, you'll feel right at home with Small Saga. In the game, you play as brothers, Firm and Lance, who are on a mission through the kingdom of Rodentia, a place below the streets of London. Joining you in your quest are Seobon, the Pyromancer, Bruce, the Harlequin, and Gwenlian, the Street Flea. We've played the demo, and production values are just amazing. The character design, the UI, the art, the music, the writing, the battles, everything feels so polished, and it really does a great job of pulling you into their world. If you don't believe us, well, Rock Paper Shotgun says, If you have half an hour free, I implore you to try the Small Saga demo. The solo dev behind the game, Jeremy Nagani, started developing Small Saga in 2018. Prior to this, he wrote, programmed, and designed the hit indie bird lawyering game, Aviary Attorney. In June of 2019, he launched a Kickstarter campaign for the title, and it hit his goal within under a month. By the end of the campaign, Small Saga had raised 41,862 pounds from 2,398 backers. The game will launch summer 2021 on PC and Mac. For now, though, we highly recommend that you try out the demo. It's available to play in browser on itch. We'll have a link in the description. Number three on the list is Last Moon by Skull Studio. Last Moon is a hand-drawn action RPG inspired by the mythical titles from the 90s. You play as a lunar knight who must slay corrupted monsters and bring back harmony to a once peaceful kingdom. If you enjoyed A Link to the Past, you'll want to check out Last Moon. 
Like the two titles before it on the list, Last Moon features beautiful graphics enhanced by some fluid, beautiful animations. Every sword swipe, dodge roll, even idle animations just leap off the screen. It's awesome to look at, and the dev team also does an awesome job of sharing their process behind creating the art. The animations, combined with charming artwork and atmospheric music and setting, put Last Moon on our most wanted list. It looks like the title is still a ways out, as the Steam page lists the release date as 2021-2022. But we'll make sure to keep an eye on it. You can wishlist Last Moon on Steam. Next up is a game that we discovered first on Kickstarter, Creature Keeper by solo dev Fervor. Part A Link to the Past, part Pokemon, and a little Nemo, Creature Keeper is a top-down action RPG where you befriend creatures, 50 unique in total, who then fight alongside you in your quest. A solid concept on its own, the fun doesn't stop there though. The game is packed with all sorts of interesting and innovative features that complement gameplay. There's a pocket garden, a garden puzzle that you take on the go with you to farm food and more for your creatures. There's a cooking system. Creatures in the game have unique tastes. Experiment with different recipes and level up your cooking skills and make the perfect dishes for your creatures. There's even a bestiary that you can use to unlock secrets about the creatures of the world. The Kickstarter campaign for the title launched in October of 2019 and hit its funding goal in under a month. By the end of the campaign, the game had raised over $50,000 from almost 2,000 backers. The title is still in development. You can follow development updates on the Creature Keeper Kickstarter page, and you can also download the demo from the game's itch page. We found a lot of these games on the Construct 3 showcase page. If you're interested, check it out. There are even more titles there, and they have their own online arcade. That's where we found this next title, number five. There Is No Game by Kami Zoto. It's actually the most played game on the list, and it's easy to see why. It's got a fantastic narrator who welcomes you from the start, and, well, anything more might be a spoiler, because after all, there is no game. <clears throat> Hello, user. I, I have bad news. Actually, there's no game. If you're curious, though, head over to the Construct Arcade and give it a click. What's the worst that could happen? Is the world ready for another game starring an all-powerful goose? Well, we are. Number six on the list is Mighty Goose by Blast Mode Games, an indie studio from the Netherlands. Mighty Goose is a pixel-perfect run-and-gun title that pays homage to the greats of the past. You could probably tell that we at Ask Game Dev are big fans of games like Mega Man, Contra, Metal Slug, so this is not a space where we take the games lightly. Looking at the game footage and some of the developers' posts, though, we know Mighty Goose is going to be great. Their passion for the genre is just so evident in everything they put out. The animations are spot on, the vehicle mounts look great, and the movements look finely tuned. The devs even put together an homage to Downwell. We really can't wait to get our hands on Mighty Goose. Last but not least on our list is a game published by our friends at No More Robots, Hypnospace Outlaw, developed by Tendershoot, Michael Lash, and That Which Is Media. Our list so far has featured a run-and-gun title starring a goose, a game that may or may not be, a game, and a guinea pig that does parkour. Well, Hypnospace Outlaw is by far the most unique concept of the bunch. It's a 90s internet simulator. In Hypnospace Outlaw, you play as a Hypnospace Enforcer, part of the Hypnospace Patrol Department, and your job is to patrol cyberspace. Visit weird and wonderful websites and keep the internet safe by watching out for copyright infringement, malicious software, internet bullying, and more. If you ever surfed the internet in the 90s or even had your own GeoCities or Angel Fire page, the aesthetic achieved in this game will make you feel like you just hopped through a time machine. They absolutely nailed what the internet looked like back then. That alone would be enough to check out the game, but it's that and so much more. The title scored extremely well with reviewers, earning an open critic rating of 83. Rock Paper Shotgun wrote, There is just so much to do, to explore. So many secrets I know I've missed, and bits I want to return to. This 
is completely splendid. It was even a finalist for the 2019 Seamus McNally Grand Prize. It might have won any other year, but 2019 was stacked with amazing games like Return of the Obra Dinn and Minute. Hypnospace Outlaw was made using Construct 2 and is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. Thanks for watching. For more Ask Game Dev, check out this video on no code game engines or this playlist of game engine showcases.